Today on Stupid Fast RC, we're looking at the Axial Yeti. Are you ready or not quite Yeti? See what I did there? No, look, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like that. Can, can we stop now? Yeah. I am Tom from Stupid Fast RC. And I'm Jordan from Hobby Tech. Today we're going to talk to you about the Axial Yeti. This is the newest release from Axial. Uh, there was a lot of hype and a lot of people really excited about this release and uh, you can see why. Um, this car is more of a racer than a rock crawler. You know, Axial normally does uh, rock crawlers, isn't it? Uh, key features on a car like this, uh, it does come with a uh, Vanguard speed control in here which can run three cell lipos. It's got a 3150 kV brushless motor in here so it makes it really fast. Um, on the 3S LiPos, a car like this, you should be doing about 75 to 80 k's an hour. Um, all the new Axial cars also coming with a Tactic Metal Geared steering servo in them now. Um, they all come with the Axial AX3 remote, so you've got a good uh, reliable transmitter and receiver combo in there. Um, a car like this, you can see underneath the chassis is pretty well protected in there. Um, so it's designed for really bashing through any sort of terrain you can throw at it. They do all come with uh, aluminium shockies on them um, and with all our other Axial products you also get a whole heap of uh, optional accessories in the box such as um, uh, sort of cockpit details, extra plastics for the bodies, um, so yeah there's a lot of parts. Uh, optional parts for these um, being alloy parts, uh, obviously gear upgrades and uh, gearing options, uh, all of those will be available shortly um, as it is a new release. Uh, some of the other features on a car like this, because it has a locked rear axle on it, um, it is pretty interesting to drive. Jumps really nicely, corners really fast, you can slide them around the corner as well. Uh, it does use a standard 2.2 inch tyre on it as well, so some uh, rock crawler tyres will fit nicely onto that. Will this be faster than my Traxxas Slash? Because they're both running on 3S LiPos, I think it'll be a pretty good race. Uh, I haven't had them together yet, so it's difficult to say, but I think it, uh, it would be very close. Uh, maybe the Yeti might be a bit faster, depending on the terrain. In, my t in the tug of war, would this beat my dad's E-Revo? Because of the weight uh, of the E-Revo, I think the E-Revo would have a bit of an advantage, but with this having the solid rear axle, uh, you'd have a lot more traction on this, so maybe we'll have to make that in another video. Will this be a good car for racing in the snow? Yes, it would, because it's uh, all the electronics in here are waterproof. You can pretty much drive it wherever you'd like, so in the snow it would be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and see you next time with Stupid Fast RC. Thanks for watching, see you. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to Stupid Fast RC. <laughs>